I've seen a lot of conspiracy theories going around about the sort of egg shortage and the situation with backyard farms getting less eggs and so I wanted to kind of maybe give you some perspective on that how chickens and egg laying work. Can you stop Ozzy? <laughs> this guy wants to be in the video and they're all fighting Ozzy. As you've probably seen I'm getting a lot of eggs right now. Yeah chew on the hood. <laughs> No, okay, maybe don't do that. And I'm gonna go somewhere else because these guys are gonna kill me. I personally don't believe that there's anything wrong with the feed. I feed the same feed I've always fed and I'm getting lots of eggs. If you're worried about your feed and you wanna change it up just to try, I feed Modesto Mills Organic Lay Crumble and it's pretty much all I've ever fed except for the odd occasion where I've needed a chicken feed in a pinch and I've just gotten your run of the mill cheapest feed I could find. Even in that case, it never affected how many eggs I'm getting. Food does matter to an extent. You can run into nutritional de deficiencies if it's not a good quality feed, but I do not believe that Bill Gates is putting RNA, <laughs> synthetic RNA into feed. It doesn't even make sense as much as I've researched it. Obviously the largest impact on the egg shortage right now is the avian flu, which has wiped out entire flocks, predominantly hitting the Midwest, which is where the largest egg producers in the US are. I'm certainly not a chicken expert, but I have done a fair amount of digging on this topic, so I thought I'd just share what I know with you guys. <sighs> Ozzy, Ozzy's the worst. Ozzy's a fighter. <laughs> oh my God, you guys make this impossible. Something a lot of people don't realize is that it's totally normal for chickens to slow down or completely stop laying in late fall through winter. The main reason for this is because chickens actually need about 14 hours on average of sunlight a day to trigger their brains into laying. So during the months where we have shorter daylight hours, <laughs> chickens aren't generally getting enough sunshine to lay. You can supplement light. A lot of people do that. And I'm sure the large egg farmers supplement light probably all the time because they need to produce eggs all year round. I personally don't, but I'm still getting a lot of eggs. And here's why. So these chickens behind me are my youngest chickens. They just started laying, I think last spring, summer. I've got to stand up again. So they have two things going for them. One, they're young. And what a lot of people don't realize is, first of all, chickens don't lay eggs forever. Additionally, they slow down every single year. So in their case, they slowed down their kind of first in-between period between seasons, but they never completely stopped. They did slow way down though. And now they're, they've really picked up and I'm getting lots and lots of eggs from them and I'll only get more as we get into spring. I've got this going on right now. Thanks guys. So these guys are young and they really have just started laying not that long ago. So they've got a lot of egg laying years ahead of them. However, these are my OGs. They're not our first chickens, but they are the first ones we raised by hand. Pancake's gonna jump on me. I can't do anything for <laughs> these animals. These guys will be three in July. Much like the barn chicken, their first season between the two. So their first year of laying, they laid a lot. Don't eat my eyelashes. And then just like the barn chickens, they slowed down but didn't completely stop. And then they picked back up again, going into their second season. This time, I believe they're on their sort of third cycle or season of egg laying. Right now, they're giving me maybe like five eggs a week. Actually, just in the last day or two, they've started laying more. Once spring rolls around, I'll definitely get more than five or seven eggs a week with out of these guys. But because they're older, they're slowing down. And this actually is the first year that they completely stopped laying. They started up again very recently. And then once these storms started coming in back to back, they stopped. And now that the storms have passed, they're laying again. They need that sunlight to lay and it was dark and miserable. On top of that, stress can have an impact on how much they're laying as well. And this run, as you probably saw, was covered in mud. It was a total mess. And they were obviously pretty unhappy with that, understandably. Now that they're getting lots of sunshine and it's dry, 
they're rewarding me with eggs, which is really nice. The worst run is my Silky Run, and I'll go over there and explain why that one is doing the worst out of all of them. So as you can see, this run is totally covered in tarps because I did a terrible job <laughs> building it. And it's really the only way I can try and keep it somewhat dry in there, which that doesn't even happen. But So on top of being covered here, almost all the way across, hi Denali, <laughs> the coop is currently covered too because it was leaking when these storms came through. Hi. I had to cover it completely when the storms came through. I kind of made a tent. You can see it kind of it goes up the back and down to keep the rain from inside. But that coop is already totally dark inside. It's a terrible coop. I mean, it's not a terrible coop. You know, it's safe and it's warm and dry now, but it's just dark. It's so dark. So their whole run is super dark, which doesn't really invite them to lay eggs. On top of that, they were stressed as well because their their run was just pure mud. And even now, they all need a bath. They need their feathers clipped. While they're healthy, they don't have parasites or anything like that, they're probably not the happiest right now. I'm trying to work on that and renovate this run and fix that issue. But for now, they're not super thrilled. Silkies are not big layers. They don't lay a lot as it is. I should say they're not frequent layers. So they don't lay a lot to begin with. They are not in the best setup right now. They don't get a lot of sunlight. They aren't out free ranging. Something I forgot to mention is this group, with the exception of the one full-size chicken in there, they can't free range because with their hindered vision and their small size, they get trampled by the goats. So they're kind of stuck in this eight by 20 foot run or 10 by 20 foot run, I think it is. And that's all they've got. I could definitely improve on their, their happiness by getting them more light in here. Out of the two silky hens in there, I'm probably getting like three a week. And Rosalie's only laid twice in the last, I don't know how many months. There are definitely contributing factors to that and it's not the food. The food is the same for everybody. Everybody gets the same scratch, the same feed. If I'm giving them greens and clover and sour grass, they all get the same thing. Nothing is different between any of them except for where their setup is. And in this case, this one is doing kind of poorly. So it's evening. I just collected five eggs from the barn chickens and I collected two eggs from the OGs earlier today. So that's seven today. I think I got four or five yesterday and then seven the day before that. So roughly a dozen every two eggs right now at the very beginning of February. Our property almost entirely is bathed in sunlight all day long. We're very lucky. The village is more shaded, but it's still very, very sunny in here. Again, with the exception of that run back there. And it's also on the ravine side, which is very, very shaded. But the rest, sunny, sunny, all the way around.